Okay. Let's check the volume. <coughs> okay. So good morning everyone. I haven't been doing video for several days because I was in Denmark. Now let's see what Bitcoin is doing. I'll actually start from the daily. Well, on the daily, hmm, on the daily, we might be going to the downside, but at some point we might start going up. So, um, to be honest, I have um, put a swing long position because we're holding above this key support at 24.500 we are holding for many 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 days and I believe it's uh, soon it would be time to yeah to go up this is exactly what I have in mind but on the weekly maybe actually it might look something like that it might pop up to the downside a little bit more but maybe we start recovering from here yeah on the weekly um, I think it looks bullish because the money flow is increasing and uh, it can be only the start of uh, the new uh, bull run so I think it's good time to place a swing long on the higher time frames, I'm not talking about 15 minutes or 30 minutes. This is um, strategic long. It may be for several months, it may be for several days. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, the, the money for I like it here. Also, I like that at some point. The momentum is going to probably turn to the upside. So let's see the lower time frames. On the 4 hour we are getting rejection here uh, from yesterday. Um, so I'm not sure w where we are going to end up because there is some money in the asset. Uh, my my suggestion is is when we see uh, the price starts to flip up, we can also place a walk. But we have to see a green dot. I think this is almost exhausted right now. I don't think we are um, going below these walls at 26200. If we go below these walls, I already consider, but uh, right now it, think it, it looks really bullish. Uh, although the, the 4 hour is uh, looks dramatic, but I think we're going to, to get recovery soon. And also, I can see that this money flow is increasing on the 2 hour. So we have, um, as you can see, minus 40 minus 18 now minus 13 maybe 12 so actually the money flow is increasing and i think it may be time to turn to the upside and pump really good i want a real good pump now on the one hour we are uh, still consolidating but i think we are there. We will soon be there. Let's see. No green dot yet, but I think soon it's coming. Here on the 30 minute actually it looks really nice for a wave to the upside. Uh, money flow is good. It's almost green, which is amazing for this down move and overall like the money flow is looking really bullish to me 
momentum is a little bit to the downside but maybe because we're going to have a huge wave to the upside and we're going to pump yeah this is on the this is on these indicators let's see the other <laughs> Ichimoku cloud chart so seeing the daily Ichimoku we have to agree that we're below the Tenkan Sen so we are actually transitioned below the cloud which is bearish on the daily um, but we'll see we, we got rejection here um, we'll see what happens next because if we um, start breaking the cloud or we pump and immediately break the cloud it would be really bullish uh, but for now it it looks more bearish than bullish on the daily at least on the daily let's see the six hour so the six hour really long uh, correction very long correction from like march from 19th of march we have this up down up down up down it's a correction and uh, and cre clearly it's not impulsive um, this is m what I can tell you that uh, this is not impulsive move this is correction have been correcting for a long time so I believe it might be time for the next wave when we'll see but uh, here we, we got rejection from this Tenkan Sen or uh, this cloud we are right now below the cloud of the 6 hour but um, the volatility is very low so yeah we'll see what happens but for now 6 hour looks uh, let's say a little bit more bearish than bullish on the 2 hour we actually got rejected and we are below the cloud right now but uh, uh, I think this move is going to we're going to get supported by this move because I think we we um, we retraced to about 61 percent or 65 percent, which is the golden pocket. If we don't go below this golden pocket, it it would be a nice move up. This is what I can tell. Yeah, on the 30 minute. Uh, I think we have some divergence here on the on the CVD. I think hidden hidden bullish. Yeah. But definitely there is something. There is some divergence. Um Okay, let me see this chart. Would mark the RSI. So we are in the oversold already, and I believe we can uh, pick this to the upside. There is no bullish divergence as of yet, uh, so maybe we should wait for the bullish divergence. Let's see what we have here. Uh, so I want to see the CVD uh, and the funding. And I want to see the 30 minute. Well, the, the funding uh, looks really positive, which is not exactly a bullish sign, but yeah. <laughs> Open interest, we are playing liquidations again liquidations to the downside people like people longing here what the folks 
Uh, overall, I think we have this bullish divergence on the CVD, which is looks really bullish. If we compare this wall, this wall, and we compare this wall to this wall, hopefully that's a wall. It looks bullish. Final chart, uh, so we are looking at the harmonics and we have a butterfly here, butterfly with a target 2 at 27,300, so until we get there I'm not touching uh, my walk, even we have higher targets, but maybe let's go at least to this second target, it would be nice. Yeah, there are all sorts of uh, so butterfly ciphers, good harmonics to the upside. It might be a little early because from this indicator I can I cannot tell that we are going immediately up. Maybe a little bit more to the upside, then a little bit more to the downside, and then we we pop up or we just go up so this is the risk if you are waiting for it we might not be going down more there is a support at 26300 I'm not sure if we are going to go there yeah we'll see so this these are my two cents I think we should prepare to long this Have a good week and a good day and a good Monday.